Hello, welcome to the channel and what is likely to be another short video recording my Chaos Knight army. Um, if you have watched the most recent upload, it was my Imperial Knights. Um, but truth be told, what inspired me when the Knights Codexes dropped recently was the Chaos version and um, yeah, as my Black Legion army um, was the inspiration for this as well. You can see that uh, I've painted them and marked them up using the uh, old school transfers um, to the stage that you see here. Um, main characters here, as they're not named like the Imperial Knights might get round to that at a later date, but there's a Knight Abominant, which is the Warlord, who is, um, yeah, a Psyker and follows the uh, Cinch God. Um, again, similar to the last video, I won't go into all the traits, spells, buffs, etc. But, um, Again, if I field these in a battle, I'll see how they get on. I might do an update video at a later date. Um, yeah, to his um, to his left is a knight despoiler, um, which uh, yeah, he's a Slaneshi um, follower and. Uh, kitted out in almost an identical way to the um, Sir Arthur in my Imperial Force. Um, because of the uh, way that Chaos Knights work using models from the Imperial Knights kit from, gosh, probably 7th edition, certainly from 8th edition before there was a dedicated Chaos Knight kit you can see that that kit has got um, a few bits and mix and match from the dedicated Chaos Knight kit. Um, I think he blends in quite well. Um, I could have done a better job if I was more skillful, of course, but at least he's got a spiky shield for his thermo cannon and um, some other sort of bits and bobs to make him a more dedicated follower of chaos. Um, the other knight is a knight desecrator. Um, he's a follower of Nurgle. Um, and uh, yeah, he's um, using this chaos knight kit. So a few more spiky bits on him, but yeah. Um, they're the three main um, main knights. Unlike the Imperial Knights, which are two squads of two, this is uh, two squads, one of three, one of one, of the War Dogs. Um, going to the right first, there's a War Dog Brigand. And, um, yeah, I think he's a... Cinch following um, Knight, and uh, yeah, I can't remember what specifically that gives him, um, but I picked it for a reason, so it might be that he's less easy to hit or something. So that's him on his own, but the other three is a squadron, but Obviously, within the rules, they can deploy as a squadron and then go their own way. Um, they're War Dog Stalkers. There's um, a lead one in the middle. And I'm just crack down a bit. I'll put the individual sort of, shall we say, character War Dogs with the um, um, cloth beneath them rather than the chains. And you can see that uh, he's got corn, the brigand had um, cinch, 
and as these are um, corn the following um, war dogs they've got the mark of corn and the leader of their little group has got um, I think it's a breast collar or something and um, yeah that's about as much as I can remember but uh, yeah again mirroring the Imperial Knights nice 2000 point army just seven models and uh, if if and when I ever get it on the battlefield I'll see how they see how they get on anyway thanks for watching and see you in the next one